Hi everyone, Freko here, and today I will be summoning on the CYL4 banner again to redeem our fourth spark and hopefully get more merges on Brave Clyde. This is currently what I'm working with. Plus 6, plus attack, close foil, mystic boost, and IOD shield. It is so great that Claude can counter basically everything except for dragons because of close foil. I guess it was kind of lucky that I didn't get Lysithia when I, sum when I was summoning for her in the Moonbow banner. Instead I got Midori. Mystic boost is pretty nice to heal some extra damage. Even if his HP is kind of low and he hits an enemy that can't counter attack, he still regains some HP. Some extra HP. And of course I OD shield. So he has no weaknesses, except for Raven Tomes, I guess. So, let's see how our luck goes. Now, something that's been on my mind recently is his post time skip design. Oops, I should have gone the other way. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's only a few banners available right now. So, um, his post time skip design, both the Barbarossa class and the non Barbarossa class, um, his pants are kind of poofy. And so I was wondering, I wonder why they decided to go with, um, with this design. And uh, the best explanation I could come up with is uh, because this guy rides a wyvern, so I mean it's only it's probably more comfortable if there's some kind of padding uh, in that area since your legs are gonna be squeezing the wyvern or the the saddle per se. And then I was thinking, what about all these other like Pegasus girls and and these girls that are riding wyverns too? Like they're wearing like skirts. And then I remembered, oh, it's it's a fantasy game. There's no logic <laughs> to design. Um, but it must feel awful to be wearing a skirt while riding a wyvern. Oh, we got Mercedes. <laughs> and so then I'm thinking, well, if it's a fantasy game, then what's the justification for po the poofy pants? And so, um, I mean, I, at first I didn't really like them, but then they grew on me. I really like his design. But of course, anything he wears probably looks good on him because he's a great looking fictional character. <laughs> Uh, I am investing so much time and effort into this handsome fictional character. Anyway. Um, if any of you know, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's traditional to, for someone in a certain rank to wear pants that look similar, please let me know. Now, today is... Friday, I think, and um, I probably won't upload this until later, but um, because I have to go out of town this weekend, so I won't have time to edit it. But uh, something that inspired me to pull on this banner again is um, a summoning video that someone posted of getting all eight copies, nine copies, plus the two free copies, of course, in under 500 orbs. And I was like, well, that's already not me, because I already already spent 560 orbs, I think. A little bit over, the, over that. And I got four copies. Four or five? Five copies. Five copies. That's right. And, um... But I'm hoping that some of uh, this person's luck rubbed off on me. Because <laughs> that was some, some insanely good luck. Now, the plan for today is really honestly just to get um, Edelgard. And if our pity percentage is 4% or higher, let's say 5% or higher, then I will summon until my pity is broken. Otherwise, I'm just going to pull out because 4% is not that much if you think about it. It's just four, It's just one percentage higher than what we started with, right? Yeah, because we start at 3%. Oh yes, such a good circle. Also. I am so happy with close foil and I also have sturdy impact and I think those skills are enough for me. I don't want to summon for Dimitri just to fodder him off for this skill for Claude. Um, I think Claude does great on with, with the other skills I have in my barracks or I have already inher inherited on him. So I'm just going to snipe 
And I guess, yes, if there's no colorless, um, my priority will be blue then. After I summoned on all those colorless stones in the previous video, I noticed how there's little to no fodder in most of these. Like, they're almost all healers and dagger units that don't have very much to offer. Like this guy, what does he have? Attack of some push skill, but only up to three. Like, I guess that's the downside to colorless. Like, there really isn't very much for you to... to very many skills for you to fodder unless it's a five-star unit. And the five star um, choices aren't very many and luckily, unlike the blue pool, there isn't a four star unit that also is available in five star. <laughs> that Draded Altena. So that's another reason why I don't want to pull for Dimitri or pull on blues with the chance of getting Dimitri because Altena is definitely up there. And I've seen her appear in, in quite a few summoning sessions of people that are trying to get Dimitri merges. Yes, pretty good circle. My priorities after this banner are going to be to get one copy only, only one copy. After Lysithia, I realized I don't need merges. One copy is good. Well, I guess her IV is plus attack, so <laughs> maybe that's why. But um, I'm happy with one copy, even if it's a spark copy. And plus the IV mangoes are coming in next month. So really just one copy of each golden deer is my goal moving forward. And um, there are currently no skills that I'm looking for for any of my units. So I'm not going to be hunting for skills. Unless it's a really good B skill for ranged flyers for Claude. <laughs> but honestly, I'm super, very mega happy with, with how... Oh, what's it called? Mystic Boost works with him. And I'm sure Guard will work wonders with him as well. But yeah, moving forward, that'll be my goal. And of course, any Claude alts that come along the way, those are definitely plus 10 goals. Now here's hoping they're not all colorless. <laughs> Something I've seen here and there is uh, an art of Claude in a bathing suit with a flag. I think it was kind of like a flag, but it looks like an axe. And so many people hope that there is a summer alt of Claude with uh, with an X. I think that would be pretty fun. So now that we've got regular Claude, Barbarossa Claude, and legendary Claude, I'm sure will be his time skip look. I'm looking forward to see what kind of creativity, creative um, endeavors are. How, how IS creatively expresses this character through seasonal alts. I'm truly very excited. What I'm not excited about, however, is that there's no spark in any of those banners. <laughs> and there are definitely no tickets in seasonal banners. So the luck is going to be a lot more rough than it is right now. Yeah, because at least we got four sparks and five tickets. But oh, when that special heroes banner comes around, and there's no tickets, and no spark, and the unit is not in the permanent summoning pool, oh, it's gonna be a rough session, so. That's another reason not to blow all of my orbs on this banner. Because at least I know Brave Claude will have plenty of reruns, but Seasonal Claude is only gonna come in twice a year. I mean, twice one year, and then once a year from then on. <laughs> So that is kind of daunting. Let's see, what is our appearance rate? 4.25. Great. Come on, Claude, come home. Nope, no smoke. 
No fly. Wow, I just noticed you could see her arm through her cape or veil, whatever that's called. <sighs> Currently the only colorless units that I've been merging to plus 10 are Felicia, which I already finished uh, over a year ago, and Mercedes, which I think I only need one more merge. Oh yes! Sweet! Let's see what your IDs are. Is it plus speed? It is plus speed. Oh, now I... Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh! Stop! I already let you out. I'm sorry, that's my dog. If you hear any extra breathing or extra snorting, I swear it's not me. It's my, it's my dog. Alright, so plus speed it will be, I think. I don't know, I'm undecided. I really like the plus attack stat, but... I hear plus speed is optimal. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is plus speed better or is plus attack better on Claude? Does it depend on the build? Let me know in the comments because I honestly can't make up my mind. I was super happy with plus speed and I liked his damage output. But I've been getting a lot of um, like on the enemy phase. I hadn't doubled sometimes. I, I mean, I have yet to get doubled unless they have an, um, like a bold fighter skill or uh, what is it called? A guaranteed follow up attack. But other than that, I have not been doubled. And even when I have been doubled, um, I hadn't gotten knocked out so far. But I, I also have only played Pv PvE. I have not used Claude in Arena or Aether Raids. So I don't know if plus attack is the best, or is it plus speed? Oof. Seriously, please let me know in the comments. And I'll probably... Oh, I don't know, I'll probably already have a merge by the time I upload this. <laughs> or I'll probably add all the merges except for the plus attack. I'll keep it, I'll keep it at plus speed. Oh, or if we only get, if we only got one copy, I guess I'm not doing any merges until, until I know what, what you all think. Is we only have five more to go and my appearance rate is only at three, so I'm probably not gonna summon beyond Edelgard. <sighs> well, at least we got one. And I am definitely happy with just one. At least. At least I didn't get um screwed over and not get any clods at all. Also, it could, I could have been uh, duped with uh, with a Mikoto or something, but thankfully it was Claude. Of all the colorless units that you can get on the 5-star, I think the worst is either Mikoto or Loki. Or some may say Valuria. Well, if you don't have any copies. I already have... I think I have every colorless unit in the colorless pool, in the colorless 5 star pool, as of last summoning session. The only ones I was missing I, I pulled, I had already gotten Bernie, I had already gotten um, Valuria, all of the healers which are just like what for? Oh no, I don't have Silk! So I guess I, won't, I wouldn't be too mad if I got a Silk. But other than that, no thanks. I don't think I want any other colorless units. Was that it? Oh, one more. Alright, let's see how this goes. Two colorless orbs. No smoke. No clod. Norn. What game is she from? I feel like I should know, but I don't. She's from New Mystery. Oh, I haven't played it. Yes, alright, so it looks like I'll be going home with 200 orbs. Ah, <sighs> no smoke. Oh, we got Lena. Alright, well, let's get our Edelgard. 
What is what are our appearance rate? Oh, okay. <laughs> trick, trick question. You can only it's a hundred percent, but you can only get Edelgard. And there she is in her address, Dian Glory. I am Edelgard von Hressfeld, Emperor of Address Dia. I will liberate my people from their ancient shackles. That is true. She did. She did. 3.5. Should I stick to my word or should I pull more? Oh. What am I pulling for? One more quad? Mm, it's only five fifth it's only 0.5% higher. Uh You know, I better not push it. 203 orbs. What if we get something awesome in October? Mm. Uh, when's our next spark? Our next spark uh, banner is in October. It might be a Fire Emblem banner. How many do we need? 115 orbs? I'm sure I can rack up 115 orbs by then. Oof. You know what? Should I be smart or should I be risky? You know what? Let's just do one circle. No, that's how these things get <laughs> go south. Yeah, let's just do one circle. I'm really feeling it right now. <laughs> oh no, I actually did it. Okay, let's just do this. And if I didn't get him, I didn't get him. And then I I, I promise I'll stop. Oh, no smoke. Ugh, I got See, like riding a horse in a skirt? Who does that? <laughs> oh, it's a fantasy game, remember. Remember, Franco, it's a fantasy game. Please, at least give me smoke. Yes, thank you. <gasps> yes! Oh! <laughs> oh, now I can go to sleep happy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter because we're going to get either plus attack or plus speed. This is traditional Elmiron Wyvern Rider garb. Looks pretty neat, huh? Yes, anything and everything looks neat on you. Alright. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, now I will definitely stop. Because this is where my, my luck is probably going to end. Um, being, stop being good. So, ah. so at plus 8 we are now. But before I merge, I need to know what you think. Should I go plus attack or should I stay... I mean, should I go plus speed or should I stay plus attack at plus 8 merges? Please let me know in the comments. And uh, I will definitely do a showcase on him, um, as I have done in the past with other units. Um, so please subscribe if you're interested in seeing what he can do at those merges with the skills and IVs and summoner support. My name is Freko, and I'll see you next time. Bye!